Welcome lovers, I don't know what I'm doing, but you probably already knew that. So I was on Facebook earlier today scrolling through being bored and I found a post about teachers and giving too much homework and I just, I just kind of got this flood of awful memories from some teachers that I was not a fan of. So I decided, hey, what better thing to do than spill the stories that I have, or at least about one particular teacher that I always think of whenever people complain about homework. So freshman year of high school, our required science class was a biology class. And I've always been relatively good at biology. I always thought it was interesting. I always liked it. So I wasn't really worried about it. And the first day was fine because it was the first day and we just kind of got to know each other and the teacher and didn't really do anything. But I very quickly learned, just like everybody else, that this teacher, being a new teacher and this being her first time actually having a class of her own, did not know what she was doing. Like, she would explain things fine when we were in class, and that was okay, but she would, on a daily basis, give us an enormous amount of homework every day. And like, it somehow didn't seem to occur to her, not only that a lot of us had after-school activities, like the fact that I had to go to dance and teach for a couple hours and then take class for a couple hours where I wouldn't get home until kind of late. And also the fact that we had other classes that also had homework. It was ridiculous. So I would frequently, like, at least once or twice a week, be up until 3 in the morning doing homework for just her class. And a lot of the times, the homework, like, she would explain something in class, and I would understand it, and the homework would be about something else. Something entirely different. And I got so confused so much of the time, and I just thought that, oh, hey, maybe I'm just not paying enough attention, or maybe I'm forgetting something or something like that. But I was not the only one. Like, I thought it was just my problem. Until I was telling my mom about it, and she's like, okay, you need to not be up till 3 in the morning when you have to get up at 7. So she went to talk to the teacher, and there were a whole group of other parents there complaining about the exact same thing with their kids. And like, every, every week, she would have meetings with parents complaining, you need to stop giving them this much homework, you can't keep giving them this much homework. You need to help them, you need to do more in class, you can't keep doing this. Because they're not getting enough sleep, and they're getting sick, and it's being, it's becoming a stressful issue, and they're freshmen. It, oh my goodness, and she never got better. And I just hated this teacher so much. Like, I didn't really hate her as a person. She was fine as a person. But just, she was so awful about this kind of thing. And on top of that, she never gave us the right material for quizzes or tests. And we had frequent, like, oh, hey, today we have a quiz. Tomorrow we have a test. Next week we have two quizzes and another test. And, like, that type of a thing. Which would have been fine, except she always gave us a rubric, like that study guide thing, with nothing that was on the test. Like, on occasion, two or three of the things that she said, oh, this is all the exact things that are going to be on the test. On occasion, two or three of them would be on the test. But more often than not, none of it ever was. And, like, I, by the end of the semester, my mom was convinced that it, that it was my fault. Obviously, I mean, I don't really blame her considering I was a freshman, I was homeschooled up until high school, so I didn't really know what was going on, and it was a problem. So my mom, for the final for that class, sat down with me for a couple of days in a row with the rubric that the teacher specifically said, this is exactly what's going to be on the test to a T. I sat down with my mom for those couples a day, couple, <laughs> couple of days and we we memorized the entire thing together me and my mom like if we were driving in the car and we were going somewhere because we had something to do I'd have out my rubric and I'd be studying it with my mom and if like we were at home and I wasn't doing anything we'd be sitting down together studying the rubric every day for like a week or so before the actual final happened when the final got there I failed I failed it miserably and when I took when I took the results home to my mom and I showed her, she read over the material, like all the questions and things from the test, and was like, this is not what was on the rubric. This is not what she told you to study at all. Like, I thought like, oh, there must be something wrong with my brain because the other kids passed it. 
So I was like, maybe I there was something on the back that I didn't see, or maybe it was just formed in a way that I didn't recognize it was the same question, but no. I brought it home, my mom checked it, my dad checked it, my sister checked it. It was not the same. At all. My mom literally had to go back to the school for like the millionth time to talk to the same teacher and be like, you will change this, you will fix this because I had to memor I memorized all of the things you said would be on it with her and it was not on there. And just, I think she got fired the year after that actually, but <laughs> that was probably one of my worst experiences with a teacher when it came to like study guides and homework. It was awful and I hated it. <laughs> I actually had a lot of really decent teachers in high school, like there are a lot of them that I really love, but there are a couple that were that were awful. <laughs> so that was my little rant about teachers for today. Hopefully you could relate somewhat. If you have any similar stories of awful teachers, hey, maybe you can share them with me. But if not, that's fine. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. But until then, I hope your day is as lovely as you are. Bye.